What's up guys, this is the Rofman. I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to kind of round off what happened last time, we finally declared war on the Eastern Empires, leading up to the Battle of Esfahan in Persia, capturing the region's capital. So without further ado, let's fight. Um, in these initial turns I like to knock out from Baghdad, till eventually Baghdad, because you can easily recruit... No, actually I don't know how much population there is. We have exhausted the population of Boston, because I like recruiting in Boston so much, um, I can't actually recruit any armies there. So, I need to keep an eye on, on, um, uh, Asfahan Air Base, where Iran base is there. Their fleet of Tomcats, but anyway. Bit of a history, military aviation buff. I love all that stuff. Ooh, I'm in one troop short. It's kind of annoying, actually. Still, let's, let's build... Build my line as per usual. Mm, friendly dog. Plans to pummel them for a bit. And then move up in short order later on. Um, round sharks. I've always found regular shot to not be very useful. Grenadiers and hand mortar company up on the flank. Hand mortar company up on the left. Backed by um, some militia. Let's get this unit of lancers or oh, lancers up on the hill to get more speed on the charge. Don't know if that's a thing, but I'd like to think it is. And then let's get my guard of cheval on the left, general in the centre, and let's fire. So these are my hand mortar companies. So compared to regular infantry, their range is much shorter. But I want to see if there's actually like a like a devastation value or something like that. So we need to destroy them in short order with artillery fire. Because they can severely loop their way around the edges of my formation if they want to. they may attempt to do. This is formation on the right. Hit them. Formation on the left. You need to hit out against this flank. Howitzer on the right. Go for this unit of garrison, unit on the house on the left. Fire on not the armed populace. Because I'm already firing it. Oh, it have to be armed populace, I suppose. As I had the artillery advantage, I may as well soften them up a bit. I think I want to split my line up and have these guys swing down to here. Quick climb right there would be excellent. <laughs> All missed. Ha! 
howitzers firing? Do they hit anyone? That's what I'm going to do actually. Limber up. What are they doing? See how passive they'll let me, or they will really be.
Hmm. Just let me trot my cannons up to you and I'll just switch to canister, I suppose. No, I won't. Let's run up to you while you are still organising. There we go. This should do it. Catch them on the flop. On the on the. Ooh, they should have killed their, lots of their own guys then. Oh god, hand mortars. That was awesome. Actually, sit there, reform up. I want to see this moors again. I didn't realise they were hand moors, I forgot about that. Oh, go on, I want to see this. This is it, brilliant. Oh no, I charged them too close. Where's my lancers? Come back here, lancers. There we go.
Oh moly. general as well. Let's run these guys forward to fire off a volley. Treat. Oh, come on. Finish loading, I want to see. <laughs> Second rank. God alive, third rank. Oh, God alive. Chase after them. More light mortar company. Get my heavy cavalry to smash into them. Yes, you are right to flee my mortar company. Oh, go on. As soon as they come within range. Two hundred forty-eight. Two hundred twelve in one volley. Oh god, like a nineteen-ish. Oh god, alive. Where's my cavalry? Finish them off. They need to reload. The, no one expects this <laughs> Goretzky Strelzi militia. Let's spread them out a bit more. Fire! Will they fire into the militia, this infantry unit, or into their comrades in the combat? Support their comrades! Well, oh, go on. Fire! Good God alive.
utterly devastating. Let's get a weapon of mass destruction. Right, let's end this the old Russian way. Storm that house. The Russian way of war. Try to get a nice route going. You swing into the back of that unit of infantry. So I don't need to kill them all because it's just to, it's to win the it's to win the um, oh, routing. Broken, 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 broken. Cool. God, those hand mores are fun. End battle. Whew. Apologies for not talking so much as a normal. Radio. Only 459 lost. Okay, let's get to work. Where's their armies? Let's send an army down here to be a tempting target for this force. And this army will swing up north to try and block off this stack if it fancies moving. So right now it's got a traditional university which I'll destroy. Another traditional university I will destroy. Does it have any religious buildings? No it doesn't. It doesn't have many buildings. Well, to knock down the universities, though, the next turn they should like me. Cool. Oh, that was this army hopping the border. Okay. Let's hit end turn. Fortunately, Britain didn't declare on me, so... My wars are manageable. Alright, yeah, next turn I need to reinforce or rebuild um, Esfahan get my recruitment going on in Baghdad again and then add some more economic investment. I need to build um, church schools in Esfahan to start converting them over to Orthodox Christianity? Is it, Christian is it Christianity? Is it Christian a type of... well it is a religion of which it is mine and I need to convert them to mine. The main thing is I need I need to pour lots of money as I go through India because lots of these some of these areas might not have necessarily reached full export capacity. Yeah, there you go. Those boots were made for raiding. I know I need to engage those Persian forces before they can actually cause too much damage. Not that they'll cause damage. I mean, I'm equaling them in terms of stacks, one for one. My guys are qualitatively probably better. And they're commanded by me. The opportunity to construct useful buildings here has yet to be exploited. So how are you doing? Leaving a town undeveloped will eventually... Okay, so let's get... So if I take... So if I go... I do have a church school here, right? I do, but I can't leave them. I can't move them out because I got this uh, this chap. So I'm going to try and assassinate him with this guy. 
Dig a new town in Azerbaijan. Craft workshop. They already have a seminary. Good. So they already like me again. Put a barracks, great arsenal. Let's destroy that. Let's destroy that and build walls. Let's put a church. Put an industrial building. Let's build another industrial building. I've got metal roads. Abundant yield iron mine is good. Let's build this up into an industrial building as well. Then let's get this army recruit uh, replenished. Can't recruit anything unless it comes all the way back from here. Poor iron workshops. Plus a thousand to region wealth for an iron master's works is pretty big. Or weaver's cottage but investment is investment cool let's hop up here this army knock out that raiding force finish them off then retreat back to Finland don't know why this guy's standing here There we go, some good investment back in Sweden and Finland, get them growing again. They are, well they were replenishing. Do a bit more. Cross the border and raid this Iron Master's works. Let's push them out to Volmia, or Umia. Still got a burning fur trapper post, but that's okay. But importantly, we've made our push into Persian territories. And what I will do is engage these guys in battle. Ideally, I'd like to have moved here, so when I beat them, I'd push them straight back, whereas this way I might push them into the mountains. But anyway, looking at the time, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.